Hey, what's up everyone? This is Superdell, and today I got a little quick video for you. Now with all of these sales and deals going on with the Amazon Fire TV Stick 4K and the Fire TV Cube, um, there may be some issues that come on your end that people cannot control their TV. Now, of course, if you set it up at home, you're going to set it up to your TV. But if you're giving it away to your cousin, your mother, your brother, your father, any of your siblings, or a client, someone at work, a colleague at work, then you're definitely going to have to give them these instructions that I'm about to um, set up for you. So you either can type it out or you can walk them through it. I will be using this remote control right here, and we're going to get everything started right now. So the first thing you have to do, because the TV, as you set it up, will be set up to your TV. But when they get it, who to say they have the same TV as you? So go up all the way up to your settings. You want to go all the way to the right. Go to settings. Then you want to go down, and you want to go all the way to equipment control, guys. Equipment control. This is where you want to go. You want to click in there. And then you want to go to manage equipment, guys. Go to manage equipment. Click in there one time. Then you want to go to TV. Because at the end of the day, you want them to be able to control their TV at their residence, at their office, and not have the credentials of your um, TV at, you know, which they can't use, you know, if it's not the same brand of TV. So you want to click in the TV. And you want to go down to change TV. Go down to change TV. Click it one time. And it says uh, guys setup would take 5 to 10 minutes. So what you want to do is click change TV. And it says please wait while we prepare your remote. Now, of course, I'm supposed to have this TV on right here. This is the TV I'm going to program. This is a Vizio. Okay, this is a Vizio TV. Also, this is a Vizio too. But it says, what brand of TV do you have? I'm going to go down here and choose Vizio. And I'm going to make this a little bit smaller right here. Let me make this just a little bit smaller. And it says, press the power button on the Fire TV remote. And that will be right here, okay, um, to turn off your TV. Wait 10 seconds, then press the power button again to turn it back on. So I'm going to point to this TV and you see it turn off, right? So it said wait 10 seconds before I try to turn it on again. So we're going to wait a little bit. It's been about 10 seconds, right? Let's turn it back on. There we go. It turned back on. And then you answer this question. Did your TV turn off and then back on when you press the power button of course if it did you want to go and click yes which is orange right now so I'm gonna click yes and then it says we'll be playing music during the next step please make sure the volume is turned up and then continue so I'll, I'm gonna just make sure the volume is turned up right there and then I'm gonna use this one and click next I do hear music right there and it said, with your Fire TV remote pointed at the TV, toggle the volume up and down. So I'm going to take the remote. And there it is. You see it controlling my volume. So it is controlling the volume. Hopefully you can see that. Hopefully. Hopefully. All right. So then it comes back and it says, uh, with the Fire TV remote pointed at the TV, toggle the volume up and volume down button. Did the music volume change and come out um, of the expected audio device? I'm going to click yes. And it says your Fire TV remote has been updated. And then you just click OK. So now you can come up out of here. Go to home. OK. And you're done. You know, you can set up the, the volume to come up as you see right there at the bottom of my TV. Or, you know, everything is set up. I mean, it's as simple as that. Hopefully, y'all can see that. I don't know. Um, it's pretty easy. It's pretty, pretty easy. All right. Also, I can power it off. 
there you go I powered it off with the remote control all right guys if you have any questions it's very very simple hopefully you um, can follow that instructions and give it to your peoples that way uh, they won't be bogging you down with a bunch of phone calls and and you not knowing what they're talking about salute to everyone um, also this come from an email that I got like two or three days ago I I just got the time to do the video so thank you Salute to everyone. I appreciate y'all, and I'll talk to you on the next one. Peace.